So the government says that they have new evidence against the individuals that were arrested with Takashi and Shadi. And I'm saying part of that new evidence might be the reason why 6 9 is not going to get bail. I just don't see it happen. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? So recently it has come out that the federal government has some evidence against Sakashi and the other individuals that were arrested from uh, Treyway? I, I don't know if we want to call them. Well, anyway, in that particular situation, they had a couple of people that were arrested, including Shadi and including Mel. And yeah. So the federal government is saying that they have some evidence that they are going to keep all the way private until the actual trial date. I think the reason why they, they probably, wait, before we even go any further, I think the reason why they actually let us know that is because there is some damning things that they probably have. Okay, so before, remember that I was talking about when I was speaking to uh, Meezy, shout out to Meezy. When I was speaking to Meezy, that was a gentleman that was in a courtroom when uh, Takashi was sentenced and me along with a couple of other people have already in, um, interviewed him. And one of the things that Mizi said was, is that they ha they're using a, you know, the archive of what Takashi 6 uh not just his social media, but you know, the things that they found on his phone and, and, and such. So the first thing that, that I immediately gathered from that was if you look at the social media or if you look at the the video recordings that they already released like the one where they allegedly have shoddy holding some people up for the scum gang book bag that allegedly had uh you know goods in it as far as jewelry or whatever whatever the hell was in the bag we don't know the bag was never open we don't know it was in the bag the bag just got stolen they saying shit was in it so i said well if they're allowing for us to see that evidence you could just imagine the evidence that they're not allowing for people to see remember people this is the federal government this is not the state government this is the federal government this is not state if they let us know about that particular piece of evidence that will be used against them you could just imagine the type of stuff that they probably found in takashi's telephone and probably found in takashi's um social media that they're going to use and before anybody says well everybody's seen the social media then why won't they just let loose uh the social media or say what they're going to use from the social media that got to be bullshit you were reaching okay first of all if you really pay attention to the way that they're using this particular uh evidence that they have the evidence that involves shoddy allegedly allegedly robbing a scum gang member that may or may not have been scum lord dizzy we don't know he says it wasn't him we'll just say it wasn't him so one of the ways that they used to track what day and everything that that happened was was the social media and the pictures that takashi had taken with the clothes that him and shoddy was wearing on any given day so yes if they release what articles or what pictures they might use as evidence on any given day of what Takashi or whoever else was wearing, then yes, they would probably know which crimes were committed on those days. We're not talking about the view in public, y'all. We're talking about his defense team would probably know what crimes was, was, was committed on that day and whatnot, and maybe even the general public, and that's not something that they want to let out because there's already been so much released on this particular case. And when I say so much released on this particular case, I'm talking exclusively about what the federal government had let us know about what is going on with the Takashi case. Okay, exclusively the federal government. Another reason why they might not be wanting to let out any of this new information about, you know, what evidence that they're going to use is because it's going to expose their CI. They might be still trying to get... Okay, so 
We hear that Takashi isn't gonna flip. He said, "Fuck that shit." I don't think that uh, Shadi. I'm not even talking about flipping in Shadi's case. I'm talking specifically about taking a deal. I don't think um, Shadi is gonna take a deal. I think Shadi is gonna go to trial with this. And one of the reasons why I believe Shadi would probably take this to trial, unless they give him a really good deal, is that's the only way that they're gonna find out who the CI is. So by by Shadi going to trial that would allow the whole world to know whoever the CI is. Why, you know, if there is one, we're also going to say that because that's definitely what popular opinion is. A lot of people believe that there is a CI. The federal government says that there is a CI. And the only way that anyone, including any individual that might still be involved in some type of illicit activities to know who the actual CI is, is if somebody goes to trial. I believe Shadi is going to go to trial. And I believe that one of the reasons why Shadi is going to go to trial is so he can expose the government CI. Okay, so just so y'all don't understand why this is so important and why this is such a big deal, if the government could get them to take deals and not go to trial, that means that they don't have to expose who their CI is and their CI can stay doing CI shit for who knows how long. The CI can stay out there, you know, doing CI shit for, you know, Two, three, four more years? Who knows? Ten more years? Who knows? Who knows how long the CI can stay out there? Why, at, why as if one of them go to trial or all of them go to trial or whatever the case might be, they'll be able to expose the CI and the CI wouldn't be able to work in that capacity anymore. And then they will, in fact, in essence, save other people from prosecution. Get it? This is one of the reasons why the government doesn't want to expose what evidence they have, because by exposing what evidence they have, they will be exposing who the CIs are. Does that make sense? Okay, anyway. So, another thing that we're going to discuss real quick, take two seconds, is everybody's wondering why 6 9 does not get bail. There's a really good reason why you do not give 6 9 bail. If 6 9 gets bail, everybody knows what the first thing that he's going to do is, right? Okay, before we talk about why 6 9 can't get bail, does anybody notice that um, Shadi has been reposting pictures on Instagram? You know how Shadi is able to do this? Shadi has access to a computer. Why does Shadi have access to a computer? Because you're, when you're in federal custody, you get access to a computer. Now, Shadi is reposting on Instagram, right? Why isn't 6 9 reposting on Instagram? Because 6 9 most likely does not have access to a computer. Why? Because the big issue with 6 9 is, is that he's busy telling people and exposing things that shouldn't be exposed or talked about. Perfect example, they have an issue currently already going on, whether anybody notices this or not, or know, knows this or not, should I say. Well, both of those, both of those apply. The case for why these individuals were arrested is still not just an active prosecution, but an open investigation. They're actively still trying to, whatever investigation that they were going to that going through that got these individuals arrested is still out there in the streets happening. They're trying to pick up more people. The problem is when Takashi 69 went on a radio show and decided that he was going to expose some of the things that he decided he was going to expose, what he did was he also exposed the investigation. Before anybody says, how did that happen? I'll just throw out a real quick, easy way that you could tell that that happened. The first thing he did was, well, one of the things he did was he said that there's six federal agents cars out in front of my house. Yes. There's six federal agent cars out in front of my house. For anybody that wants to ignore that and act like that's not him saying to people who might not have seen him, this is why I cannot come around you. This is why I have been distant. And this is why you niggas is all fired. You know, if, if, you know, that's one way to take it. You know, there's a ton of different ways to take it, but that's one way to specifically take it. You can't assume that he's against any of the other individuals that were accused because one, he's not turning. And two, it seems like he was warning them to keep their distance. 
At least that's the impression that I got. Anyway, so you can't let Takashi go because the first thing Takashi is going to do when they decide to give him bail is run to the first internet that he could find and use it. And for anybody that says, well, they could just limit his access to the internet. Okay, but they can't limit him from talking to people. He can just go to where someone is and then spill the fucking beans. It's really that simple. Not that I want anybody locked up. Hey, whatever, nigga, give him bail. I'm just explaining why he is not yet to get bail, in my opinion. Anyway, that's just the stuff about the evidence and Takashi not getting bail. I want to know what y'all think about it. Leave it down in the description. I just want to know what y'all think about it. I mean, knowing that Takashi might come out and then expose elements of the case, which in reality, the way the government is going about it might actually cause for him to do more time. Do you think that they should let him go? You know, because uh, once he do that, he's probably going to be in contempt of something. And then if he gets found guilty and he was also being held in contempt of something, I could only see is both of those things being bad. So leave it down in the, co in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about it. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.